Okay, so in this video, we will consider two fairly straightforward algebraic limits. So here's the first function. It is a piecewise function. We're saying that f of x is equal to x over x minus 2 for all values of x are smaller than or equal to negative 1. And for values of x that are greater than negative 1, f of x is the function x over 4 plus 1. The question is, what is the limit, of course, if it exists, of f of x as x is approaching negative 1? Well, here there is ambiguity with this two-sided limit. x could be approaching negative 1 from the left or from the right. And as we can see, from the left of negative 1, when x is smaller than negative 1, we are using this function. And when x is larger than negative 1, we are using this function. Well, this is a case where we have to use the left-sided limit and then the right-sided limit and compare and see if the original two-sided limit actually does exist or not. Let's look at the left-sided limit first. So we approach negative 1 from the left. As x approaches negative 1 from the left, x is slightly smaller than negative 1. And if x is less than negative 1, we are in this case, and the function therefore f of x is x over x minus 2. So we're asking what happens to the expression x over x minus 2 as x is approaching negative 1. And here we'll use our rules of limits in a very intuitive fashion. As x approaches negative 1, well clearly x approaches negative 1, so the numerator gets closer and closer to negative 1 over, as x approaches negative 1, this will approach negative 1, negative 2. So we get negative 1 over negative 3, which is quite simply 1 third. So the limit from the left exists and it is equal to 1 third. What about the limit from the right? So we approach now negative 1 from the right. As we approach negative 1 from the right, x will be a little bigger than negative 1. And if x is larger than negative 1, we are in this case. And so f of x now is x over 4 plus 1. Well, as x approaches negative 1, this will approach negative 1 over 4 plus, well as x approaches negative 1, 1 is always 1, so it stays plus 1. And so we get negative a quarter plus 1, which is 3 quarters. And so the limit from the right also exists, but now equals 3 quarters. If you notice, the limit from the left is different than the limit from the right. And so what is our conclusion? Well, the two-sided limit actually is undefined. As the limit from the left equals a third, and the limit from the right equals 3 quarters. So we have our final answer. The two-sided limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 is undefined. And we're done. Let's consider one other short example. Now we are piecing three different functions together. We are saying f of x is x squared whenever x is smaller than 2, f of x is exactly negative 5 when x is exactly 2, and f of x is 6x over x plus 1 when x is larger than 2. The question is the same as before. Although x is approaching now 2 instead of negative 1, we are asking what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. Once again, there is ambiguity. 
As x approaches 2, x would be larger than 2, in which case f of x is this expression, or x would be smaller than 2, in which case f of x is this expression. Well, the only way to go around this problem is to look at the limit from the left and the limit from the right. One thing we can eliminate from these three possibilities is the second one. We know that as x approaches 2, x is taking on values that are closer and closer to 2, but we know also that x is never exactly equal to 2. And so the value of the function at 2 being negative 5 is completely irrelevant, and so we can ignore it. Now, let's look at the limit from the left first. So we let x approach 2 from the left-hand side. As x approaches 2 from the left, x is slightly smaller than 2, and so we use the expression f of x equals x squared. And now we have a pretty simple limit. As x is getting closer and closer to 2, x squared will get closer and closer to 2 squared, which is 4, and so the limit from the left is 4. What about the limit from the right? Well, now as x approaches 2 from the right-hand side, x is slightly larger than 2, and so we use this expression for f of x, 6x over x plus 1. Well, as x approaches 2, 6 times x will approach 6 times 2, which is 12, over, as x approaches 2, x plus 1 will approach 2 plus 1, which is 2 plus 1, and so we'll have 12 over 3, which simplifies as 4. So in this case, the limit from the left exists and equals 4. The limit from the right also exists and also is equal to 4. Since both limits from the left and from the right exist and are equal, our conclusion, our final answer, is that the two-sided limit also exists and is also equal to 4. And we're done.